Well, hello, hello everyone. Um, I'm making this a video um, really for the person that um, just would like uh, a little bit of an update on how to paint a simple landscape. Um, just a tree in a field with a goat. Okay, let's get started. Going to put in the clouds first, like that. A bit of, a bit of red in there as well. There you go. That's the cloud formations. Quite simple. Just spread that through the touch. Now I'm dropping in cobalt blue. A bit of ultramarine. Not as much that side because that's where the um, sun area will be. Just a little bit of cloud work. And as I come down to the distant land, I'm just going to gently lift away. So I'm drawing the brush and lifting off. Up the centre of the track, I'm going to put a small verge that um, quite often you see when we have farm implements, farm tractors, and what have you, coming along that area. The track, a bit of raw sienna in there, a bit of sadness to the grass. And then I'm going to put in the track itself. We start off there with quite a dull light red. As we come forward, strengthening that light red. Do the same either side, a little bit down the centre as well. And then finally, a little bit of real strong red. Well, isn't it? Be nice just to strengthen that forward. That is stage one. Now that first wash has uh, dried nicely. Oh, and by the way, if you can hear that plopping noise, sorry about that, but um, I do have uh, some wine. Um, you know, Demi John just uh, on its brewing stage. Um, something that I do as a hobby. Okay, right you are. Now we're gonna paint that large tree. Um, Start off in the centre of your trees when you paint these lovely large trees and just pull the brush across the paper in a not a random way but to make certain that you justify every sort of movement that you do but um, you know try and be fairly free with these up lovely old trees this one leaning in a touch and then I'm going to have the sun coming from the left so the right hand side will have a bit more dark also on the undersides of some of those um, branches certainly the right hand side um, two little touches of dark on the left but mainly on the right, leaving one or two little touches unpainted. 
know, not, not a difficult thing to do, to paint a large tree like this. Quite dark in the lower area, where the branches hang down, in a dark area there, and really, really dark now. Burnt sienna, Prussian blue, to get some real solid dark colour. Brilliant, that's that. Right, same with the overhanging hedging there. Very, very dark. Very, very dark. It's a simple way to paint hedging and then extremely dark there as it comes in. And the reason I've done that is now I'm going to put in some light side to those trees. A little bit of light at the top. A bit more light there catching so that we can see the trunk and finally put in the bit of hedging going up to that side with the dark shadow work in the face of that hedge a little bit bluer this time just to really change the out of the picture. Uh, good now all we need is a little bit of Extra shadow work on that. A little bit running across there. And we'll allow that to dry. Good. Finally, we'll stroke in the gate post there. A little bit of fencing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching that. 
very quick demonstration of how to paint a tree in a landscape. Um, my name is Colin Steed. I'm an artist and tutor. I have a YouTube channel, Colin Steed Art, on YouTube. And um, hope to see you visit the site sometime. Have a great afternoon.